Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a freestyle general reading for the Pisces Collective, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for today, Wednesday. In Panama, it's Mother's Day. I don't know about you guys in other places. <laughs> so, happy Mother's Day to Panama moms or whoever is celebrating um, Mother's Day today. Guys, have you subscribed? Are you subscribed? Please subscribe. And if by any chance you guys are interested in a 2022 month by month forecast, you're going to have to book it very soon because I'm getting booked, okay? Just FYI. Knight of Cups showing up first card. So this is a card that has been showing up a lot this week. The lover, oh no, the two of cups. I thought that was the lovers. There's some, ooh, the sun. There's some, some love in the air here. For you Pisces, there's some love. Some love and some trouble. <laughs> Those can go often hand in hand. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. You could be dealing with a Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Tor Virgo Taurus. <laughs> Maybe an Aries, strongly Leo. Strongly Scorpio. All right. Ace of Pentacles, new tangible opportunities in the physical realm for you. So the main energy is the Knight of Cups. And we see a little Scorpion here. So this, I'm assuming, is Scorpio energy. And we see a snake as well. So, you know, intense, mysterious, mystical energies. This prince always comes in with an offer of love and appreciation. So right now, you may be receiving an offer of love from a Scorpio, okay? Romantic love. Well, actually, it could be any kind of love. But he seems quite intense. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, his expression is a bit much here. He's like... I don't know if you can see it with the lighting. But he is looking at someone very intensely. So there could be someone who is really fixated on you, Pisces. And they're like, not going to take no for an answer kind of thing. What the universe wants you to know is that you are in a very stable place and you have to work to stay there, okay? You have to prioritize um, that stability, prioritize your empire, and not let yourself be distracted. As a challenge energy, you have the two of wands. So there's a choice that you need to make. Okay. You may feel like there's still undefined things in your life at this point. Maybe about the things that you're thinking of. Someone seems to be very, yeah, like very focused on you. But you don't know if it's the right path to accept this offer of love from this person. In your mind space, you're seeing things very clearly. You have a lot of light shining in. Maybe you're thinking about a Leo person. For some of you, the person you're thinking about could be the person offering you... Um, love here maybe asking you out calling you writing to you wanting to share with you in in any way sorry guys but for others of you this seems like two different people in the recent past you have definitely experienced a very beautiful connection to someone very very beautiful connection
It's almost as though someone who's interested in you saw you being with someone else or something like that. And they were like, mm -mm, no, I'm going to get Pisces. No one else is going to get Pisces. I'm going to get Pisces. This could be someone who you have nothing with. This could be someone you don't even know. <laughs> this could be someone from social media. But maybe they saw kind of like a post that you had a partner now and it got weird for them and they got really intense and kind of jealous and it got weird. <laughs> but you may not even be aware of this person. Right now, you are in this very multifacetic energy. You're being very productive. You're being very um, charming and vibrant, doing all the things that you consider important, doing all the things that you consider to be fun, feeling good, feeling really good, passionate, inspired. In your environment, the death card, this is Scorpio. This Scorpio person could be... Yeah, they could be jealous. They could be jealous of you being with someone else. It might get kind of tricky in the future. We got the Ten of Swords in the near future, so something is going to come to an end. And you're going to choose the right path for you. It may get kind of awkward if this is a person that you don't know, obviously, and they come in kind of like <laughs> demanding or aggressively, you know, coming at you with some romantic offer, but it will feel kind of like weird if you don't know them. If this is someone that you actually know, They may have recently been thinking about romance with you. They're in your environment a lot. This could be someone you have a lot of like contact with, could be someone you live with or someone who's always around one way or another. But it does seem like they're, they're thinking about this quite a bit, like they're very focused. It's almost strange. I can't really finish like reading this guy here. What the universe wants you to know, again, protect your manifestations, protect your empire, give it the priority it deserves. I think that right now your goal is to achieve that joy, that high, high level of happiness and fulfillment and, you know, wishes fulfilled, wishes coming true. You want that, so keep that in your vision. Don't let, you know, people's drama kind of like distract you. As far as your hopes and fears, you have the emperor as your hope. So you want to be that emperor of your empire. You want to be the leader, the creator, the magician in your life. Building that life that you really enjoy living. You may be afraid though. That you could be a little too picky about certain things. Ultimately, you're going to be taking a rest. I feel like you're going to be sort of... Um, taking some distance, there seems to be some kind of drama here, I'm not gonna lie, some kind of like romantic drama. So I'm gonna pull like another layer to the whole spread to see what, 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 what's going on. Yeah, so this person who's interested in you romantically may feel rejected, abandoned. Maybe they feel like you would never give them a chance and that makes them feel some kind of way. This could even be someone, but this is for like very little amounts of you. 
of you guys out there. There could be someone who's like not even interested in you at all. But if you feel if they feel rejected by you, then they're like, but why though? <laughs> like let's say that you're a gay man and you're interested in gay men, right? But there's a friend of yours who is a man, who is a straight man, and he's like, but why don't you have feelings for me though? Like, am I, aren't I great? But they're straight, but they're still like, why are you not in love with me if you're gay? <laughs> Super random. <laughs> that is a very weird message. Nine of cups. Remaining your power. Remaining in your power is going to make you feel better. Even if you're in solitude, that being with someone who diminishes your power or your shine. And you know that you're being very objective. You are not letting yourself be manipulated in any way. You are getting to your fulfillment, Ten of Cups. And it doesn't have to come from someone else. Someone may be really spying on you, paying a lot of attention to you. Could be this person. This person that's interested in you. Right now, you're emanating a very abundant, independent, prosperous vibe. You don't need anything. You don't need anyone. You're good. It's like you and your pursuits. Total fulfillment for you. This Scorpio person in your environment may be thinking that they need to let go of something. Maybe of you. Hopes and fears. The lovers. I think everyone here is confused, including me. <laughs> the Empress. Seven of Pentacles. Everyone here is confused. You, Pisces, seem to be having feelings for someone that has feelings for you. It doesn't seem to be spoken, like, no one is talking about it. You both know, but no one is talking about it. But you're like, I have my priorities, and even though this could be amazing, I'm just not going to go down that road. Someone seems to be around, craving to be with you, feeling entitled to have you, but feeling rejected by you. Ultimately, you are coming to your happiness. Like, you don't give a fuck. Like, you're going to be happy either way. It doesn't matter. And they kind of know that. And that may make them feel kind of shitty. Like, uh, you know, I wish... I could bring happiness to Pisces, but it's clear that they have Pisces, uh, they have happiness already, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> that kind of thing. This turned out to be kind of like a love reading. It wasn't necessarily meant to be a love reading. Um, it was a freestyle, right? But I guess these are the messages that are perhaps um, the energies, that, I guess, the situations that are calling the most Pisces at this time. So let's pull a romantic message. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So yeah, maybe right now, while everyone is confused, just focus on your goals. You will find a lack of confusion there. A safe space. <laughs> from all that confusion. All right, my love, so this is what I have for you today. I will see you in the next reading. Bye.